the track of the tropics. A lot to talk about. This is a hurricane out here. So we have our tropical depression here, a tropical depression here, and then we have this hurricane. Look at that eye right there. Let's go ahead and zoom on in. And this is Hurricane Gaston uh, continuing to churn off into the central Atlantic. It's moving eastbound at about 10 to 15 miles per hour. Here's Bermuda right there. So well to the east and moving away from Bermuda. But this hurricane is so strong, it's actually increased its winds from 105 earlier today to 110 miles per hour. And it's generating some incredible waves. And that's why we have these dangerous rip currents up and down the eastern seaboard. Not really because of that tropical depression that's just offshore. It's really because of this hurricane is generating the dangerous rip currents and some incredible waves. And expect some pretty good waves all the way into the end of this week and into the early part of the weekend. So there's our two tropical depressions. We'll zoom into Tropical Depression 9, which is most likely going to be our first tropical storm uh, either tonight or tomorrow. It's moving northwest very slowly, but it's going to gradually go this way. It's 345 miles west of Key West right now and moving slowly to the northwest. So it's going to move all the computer models. Some of them actually print off to the north, but most of them have it move, moving northeast. There's a trough that's going to actually develop tomorrow in the upper atmosphere, and these winds are going to shift that in the upper atmosphere to the southwest. It's going to grab this system and move it through this area. Now, some of the models are actually starting to push it a little bit farther left now than right. Remember, before it was over Jacksonville, now it's a little bit. That's because the farther it moves to the west, before it makes that turn, it could come across and move farther north. If it started to turn right now, then it would move to our south. Either way, if you've got plans this weekend along the Carolina and Georgia coast, don't cancel them, at least for Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Different story, though, for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, because you'll probably have off and on showers and possibly heavy thunderstorms. So 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, 45-mile-per-hour winds increased to 65-mile-per-hour winds right here along the Great Bend area. Uh, landfall sometime late Thursday afternoon. And then maybe right along the South Carolina beach as we go through the day on Friday. So we could have some very heavy showers and thunderstorms here. But look what happens by Saturday. It just races away from us. And that's the reason Saturday, Sunday, and Labor Day looks fantastic. So here's the Great Bend area north of Tampa, Spring Hill, all the way through Cedar Key. Uh, this is the purple area is a hurricane watch. There's a chance it could become a Category 1 hurricane. Panama City, uh, Tallahassee, all the way down to north of Tampa, tropical storm watches also have been issued. Here's our tropical depression 8, though, and it looks like it's already starting to turn away from the Outer Banks, even though the tropical storm watch still continues uh, for this area from Moorhead City to Cape Hatteras to Nags Head. It looks like things are getting pretty quiet as we go through the night tonight as that system looks like it's slowly moving away.